recording. Hello everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Today I am going to be filming a short tutorial on circular breathing. Circular breathing is giving the impression of playing a note that lasts forever and you do this by disguising how you breathe in. What you do is you're blowing, then you push air out using your cheeks at the same time as breathing in through your nose. So. Now it's not breathing in and out at the same time because that's physically impossible, we can't do that, but it's giving the impression that you are. I'm going to show you how you can do circular breathing on the recorder, but the same principles can apply to any wind instrument. The recorder is extra challenging because it has no resistance, there's no embouchure, there's no reed, you literally blow into a hole and all your air is gone. Like, so Everyone has this idea that it's this crazy difficult thing, but it's really just a technique and if you practice it, it comes really, really quickly. I promise. Everything I'm going to show you in this video today is just one way of doing it. It's the way that I've found works best for me. You might think that it's rubbish, <laughs> it's fine. If you have ideas or tips or experiences that have worked for you, then leave it in the comments and I'd be really interested to hear about it. Circular breathing, I like to think of it in three main stages. And these are blowing normally, pushing air out with your cheeks and the transition back to blowing normally. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing this in the hope that I can edit some text here but... First stage, blowing normally and within this stage you're going to prepare the next one by at the end filling your cheeks. Stage two, that's where you use your cheeks or, actually we're gonna find out, I use my jaw, but we'll get to that, to push the air out. And within this stage, you breathe in through your nose. Or as I do it. <laughs> and then you have the transition back. And this is often the trickiest part because you'll hear that of your windway opening again. So, and if you link these three stages together, then you have circular breathing. Uh, I did it all quite obvious now. The eventual idea with circular breathing is that it's completely unnoticeable so that your audience come up afterwards and they're like, oh my God. Stage one, that's blowing normally. For this stage, you really need to have a steady airstream, good air support. I'm not gonna go into that in this video because that's a whole subject for another video, but you really want your airstream to be stable. If this is wobbly, then then to get uh, a really stable circular breathing is gonna be much more difficult. We're gonna look at stage two. This is where you are using your face to push air out. To control it, is quite difficult. I have been taught some great ideas when I was studying for how to do this and I found they really worked. We're gonna do this with a glass of water. So this exercise is for practicing pushing that air out in a really steady way. And when you're doing this, your windway is closed as if, as if you go to say I, then you close it here. No air is being blown out. You are just... So all you're gonna do is take a mouthful of water and spit it back out in a steady stream. At 
actually I practice this in the shower because then you can just stand there like a happy fish. It's harder than it looks and in the beginning you'll often find that it just goes all over the place so you have to adjust as you can see now, I'm doing this more with my jaw actually, like, like I'm opening all and then pushing lengthways. For me, this is how I find it works better. If you would rather feel your cheeks and use your cheek muscles to push out. Okay, I'm gonna try that. I'm not very good at the pure cheek method because my cheeks are very, very weak and floppy because as a recorder player, you keep them really relaxed. Um, if you are a brass player, you probably have super, super strong cheeks uh, and it might be easier for you to do it that way. So see what works for you, either the vertical or horizontal method or a combination of the two. Okay, next step, next step of this. You've got your nice steady stream. Now you're gonna do your nice steady stream and at the same time, you're gonna breathe in through your nose and that stream is not gonna change. Maybe you could see when I was breathing in, that was fine. And when I stopped breathing in, my water stopped. We do not want that to happen. Let's try it again, Sarah. So that's what you want to do. Steady stream out, breathing in. The next step of this, steady stream of water out, and you're going to do this. Breathing in and out through your nose. No interruption here. The idea of all of this is to make this muscular action here completely independent from your breathing action. If they're independent, you can control them better. They're not relying on each other. Okay, so by now you can use your cheeks or your jaw to push out air and at the same time you can breathe in. You have now mastered step two of circular breathing. Now comes the hardest part. Step three, the transition back. We're going to do this without water, just with your body. What I want you to try is that using your cheeks to push out your air whilst you're breathing in and you can use your hand to feel the air. And then at the end of this, just blow normally again. We're gonna try how that goes. Breathing in while pushing out and then often you hear the little dip of air or you hear the throat clicking back open. My personal tip for how I do this is to think down in the base of my throat. Just before I start to blow out again, I think and I find that helps me mask the transition like this. And if you have that, just continue the breathing, the blowing out in the middle. And then you have blowing, pushing, and blowing. So you've got the circular breathing in and out thing going. We're gonna test that out with a new glass of water and a straw. You are going to blow into the straw, into the water, you hear all the bubbles. You're gonna circular breathe and then continue blowing and the bubbles won't stop. If the bubbles stop, that means your air is stopping. Then that means the transition isn't working. So either you are 
breath starting to push too late with your cheeks or your airstream is stopping too early that's when you go from phase one to phase two or in number three the transition either your cheeks are stopping too early or your air is beginning too late it's quite logical really the next stage is transitioning to your instrument you probably think i can circular breathe great the bubbles sound brilliant they don't stop and then you get this Now, with the recorder, as I've said already, you have no resistance. You literally just have a hole that your air falls into. We're going to add some resistance to our recorder with tape. And normally I recommend doing this with a plastic instrument. You probably don't want to be putting tape on your nice wooden recorder every day. But what we're going to do, I'm just going to come over here we're going to tape off most of the windway. So you just have this tiny bit here open. This is going to give a lot of resistance and we're just going to give it a go. Circular breathing. thing to do from here is just practice, practice, practice. When this amount of resistance is fine, move the tape. Give yourself less resistance. Practice, move the tape, practice. Eventually you're going to have no tape at all and you can just practice on your bare instrument. I would recommend starting with a low note because these low notes you need a nice slow air speed and once you've for example got the F and the G on your alto recorder sorted I would try going higher that's harder and then moving to bigger instruments that's even harder basically make it more and more and more, more difficult until you can just circular breathe on anything <laughs> tips the first is about that breathing in you're hearing a beautiful soft piece of music it's really atmospheric it's so nice and then <laughs> and ah oh, I can't separate non-musical sounds when I'm listening to music. So if someone is sniffing or coughing or chewing gum, <sighs> unless you have a cold, your breathing has probably been silent all through watching this video. Our human bodies are designed so that we can efficiently, easily and silently breathe through our noses at all times. So. Why don't we just do that with circular breathing? Breathing in normally through your nose is the most efficient way. Other ways why you're playing to mask the circular breathing thing again, um, you can use vibrato, so any way your tone, colour and pitch is changing slightly. Or you can also put it in a passage with a lot of finger work. <laughs> That's also a nice way to play film music. Oh yes, I also said I would give some resources where you can read more about this. Um, I found this book the Modern Recorder Player by Walter von Hauer to be an amazing resource. There are three volumes. Uh, the circular breathing information is in his book three, which I don't have here because I, uh, I lost it. Uh, the people who gave me a lot of tips and advice when I was le learning circular breathing, the information from Walter, the classes from my teacher Jorge Isaac, and the advice on the nose thing, from my colleague Francesca Thompson, so thanks for that. 
Okay, that was my short tutorial on circular breathing. I hope you found it interesting. If you have comments, ideas, arguments, anything, I'd love to hear it. So please leave it in the comments down here below. I'm planning on making lots more videos about various aspects of the recorder and music teaching. So if you're interested, please give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel and you can see more of these happening. Bye!